praise the Lord. And when I look back at them, they were just looking like, she owns something. But I, I just need you to understand that when you are on assignment for the Lord, when you're contending for the faith, when you are fighting for the word of God, fighting to live the word of God, fighting to preach the word of God, fighting to teach the word of God, that the enemy is always going to be on your track. So don't think you're special. I don't think I'm special. I ain't the only mother whose son has her, their ear pierced. Amen. 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 I'm just glad he got a girlfriend, so I ain't got to be worried about nothing else. You got to count your blessings. Amen. 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 So I just pray. <laughs> I pray y'all gonna let me be me tonight. Amen. And let God use what he's put in me. And everything he's put in me, he's put in me for his glory. Amen. Let's pray because there is a word from the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are already in this place, God. So I pray that you give us hearts, God, that will receive what your word will say tonight. I pray, God, that you give us eyes that will see what your word will say tonight and ears that will hear here what your word will say to us on tonight, God. And then, God, give us feet that will run from this place and tell somebody about the God that we serve. Send your preaching power, God. Do what you want to do in this place tonight, God. I won't take any of the credit. I just want to be used by you, God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on, if you have your Bible. Amen. I need a praying church tonight. Amen. I need, now, when I was in the club after the food, I had my posse. They would be cheering me on. Go, Shannon. Go, Shannon. Go. Amen. Come on now. Now, now I don't want to come in the, in the midst of saints and y'all sit here and be all quiet. Amen. That's going to mess with me. So I, I need a praying church tonight. Amen. Amen. Come on and turn with me to Genesis. Go, Shannon. That's, that's right. Amen. Because I'm on the right team now. Amen. Amen. Genesis, the 19th chapter. I'm going to read verses 15 through 17, and then I'll drop down to verse number 26. Genesis 19, verses 15 through 17. And this is what it reads. It says, And when the morning arose, then the angels hastened Lot, saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And while he lingered, the men laid hold upon his hand, and upon the hand of his wife, and upon the hand of his two daughters, the Lord being merciful unto him, and they brought him forth and set him without the city. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad that he said, Escape for thy life, look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. And then when you drop down to verse number 26. It says, but his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. This is the word of God for the people of God. Somebody say, thanks be to God. Amen. 